Hello and welcome back to... Oh, there's a tree in my face. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to uh, Steam Block 2, episode 3. Yes. Uh... Oh dear. I did not expect that to happen. Um, I have done a little bit of mining off camera only to get the dirt because it's going to be required for my next farming quest, if you remember correctly. I have been harvesting away and tidying up a little bit. Um, just off camera, but I kind of like recording these quite back to back because I just want to get cracking on. It's I love it. I'm very excited and I just want to crack on and I really hope that you guys are enjoying it because I am absolutely loving it right now and I'm actually hungry. So let's try one of these cooked worms, shall we? Lovely. Um, so yeah, if you remember from a recap from a last episode, I just need to get some wheat, potatoes, and beetroot. And the way I can get this is by using the sieve. Um, so if I um, grab some dirt here, and remember I've got the heavy sieve, so I need to kind of compress this down. I'm probably going to guess, right, I probably need at least four. I have no idea why. I'm thinking four. It's going to do the trick. Okay. You can see we've got a potato. That's perfect. Aha, we've got some beetroot seeds. And we need a carrot, I think it said, right? Am I making that up? No, wheat. So we, I think we got everything. <laughs> From the one. That's awesome. Okay. So I could just put that back in there for another day. Lovely. Actually, no, I need it to grow the stuff, right? So using my hacks again, I can do this, right? Right. <laughs> okay, I don't think it works with the crops. Dan is sad. I think I'll try... Hang on a minute. Let me just put a sapling there. No, it doesn't work. But there is another way to help speed up crops. Now, it's a bit of a secret feature, but... As I'm kind of making a let's play on it, I guess I should probably tell you. <laughs> um, I'm going to grab myself a piece of cobblestone though. I'll just put that here. There we go. So what I can actually do is use these guys. And when they walk over it, it will kind of fertilize these a little bit. Much like how bees do it. Um, so yeah, I could try and get the, the worms across to there. Now the only problem with that is they are going to be a very big pain. And they're very slow as you can see. So I'm going to have to build a wall all the way around it. Or do I maybe make this a bit more easier for myself? And if I just put a block of water in the middle there, we can do it like that. So excuse me, guys. I'm going to put that like that. And I'm going to have to put a trap door, which I've got anyway, on top of there so they don't get stuck in the water or something. There we go. And then I could just turn all this into dirt, right? And we'll grow the crops in here instead. And therefore, the worms, when they walk over it, will actually fertilize it for me. Awesome. So they will end up fertilizing that as they just kind of wriggle around. Um, I'm probably going to use up some more dirt here. I can hear it. It's actually working. And uh, use up my crook a minute and just see if I can get some more worms. Maybe I shouldn't have cooked them up. <laughs> because the more worms, the more chance of it actually... Um, there you go. Chance of it actually um, fertilizing it, right? So, in the end, using the worms for growing the crops actually did pay off. Uh, it's very slow, but it kind of works. The more worms you have, the easier it is, I guess. But yeah, farm life is done. We got beetroot, we got a potato, and we got some wheat. Look, that's what the quest book wanted, and that's what we've achieved. So yeah, I'm probably going to leave these guys as doing their thing right now. And I will grow some more beetroot. We love our beetroot. There we go. Beautiful. So that's all cool. I got some extra food now rather than just eating up them. But we won't show them that. We're eating their friend. Um, he's still asleep on that, which is quite funny. I probably should wake him up, right? He's been sat there for a while. I did spot a, another um, vein here of this ore. So I probably will mine that at some point, but not just yet. Oh, the tree has grown. But anyway, what do we get for this reward? Let's have a look. Access... To the magical quest book. Okay. Since we're in a farming mood, why not make things a little easier and make a botany pot? Wait, what? Botany pots? Yes, guys. A botany pots are in this. Automation is beginning. Um, But we've actually got access to the magical quest tomb now. 
which is really, really nice. Uh, so yeah, we get given a new book, and this is a brand new quest line. All in <laughs> magic theme. It's a current quest. Now it's time to get into the magical side of things. So I need to collect every one of those essences, which isn't too hard because I've pretty much got them all right, I think. Boom, there we go. That was easy, and now I can just put them back in there. Now, these will become a bit more harder in a minute, you'll see. The Heart of Magic, so that's done. I get eight Essence Ore for that, and eight Grass Blocks. Why do I get Grass Blocks? Hmm, we shall see. Now you have your hands on some different essences, it's time to put them to good use. You can craft runes. These magical powerful runes have a unique properties that will help really help you on your adventures through stone block 2. Craft earth rune, water rune and spirit rune. Okay. What do we do guys? Do we continue on with the main quest bit or should we go down a bit of magic? I think we should go down a bit of magic, right? Ow! I'm trying not to burn myself at the same time. Um Okay, so we need to craft some runes now. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to go down magic route, I think, for a minute. We'll, we'll ditch the main quest book for a minute and we'll continue on with the magic for now as far as we can get because they kind of um we designed this to kind of like lock out on each one if you know what i mean so like they kind of like intertwine is that the correct term um with one another which is quite nice i think i need to uh start organizing myself a bit better we're getting a bit of a mess here so we got all this essence ore i guess i should probably just break it right just because I'm going to need all this stuff to craft up some runes, probably. Um, we are yet to see the recipe of the ruins, so we, we're going to have a quick look. And I don't know why I always call it a ruin, even though it's called a rune. Okay, I know I've got a bit of a problem with that word. <laughs> it's called a rune, Dan, not a ruin. Okay, so if I go in here and type in ruin, we are going to see these pop up. Now, it's only showing five, but there's actually seven, look. That's because I've only got these essences on me. Now, every essence is pretty identical. Um, well, runes, sorry. Recipe-wise, it's just a clay block. So, you're, like, infusing the clay and making that into a rune. Now, clay is very, very valuable in stone block two. So, it's quite a, a good resource to go for if you can get yourself a clay chicken or some sort of way of producing clay that's a great way to go i would say um but yeah the spirit rune is used quite a lot in different recipes as well um but yeah these are all the runes and i need to craft up a earth rune i think that's what i've got right earth rune a water rune and a spirit rune now these are actually used and i'll show you what they're actually used for if i look at like for example a botany pot it's actually used in that so it kind of gets a bit of magic from this because this basically will grow any crop you put in it okay so if i put an earth rune under a flower pot with a couple of pieces of terracotta again all clay all of this is clay so yeah clay becomes a very very valuable as i just mentioned so we need to craft up a earthy nope an earth rune okay so we need eight pieces of earth which we've got seven. <laughs> typical, right? Typical, typical, typical. Right, what other ones do we need? We need a water and a spirit. Okay, so we need a spirit, which is the yellow one, and the water, which is the blue one, and then we need that. Okay, so I'll keep that with my hotbar. Right, now we need some more dust, and we need to make um, some more clay. So this is where this barrel is going to become very, very useful for me right now. And all I need to do is put this here, do this, and I got two buckets actually. I could just fill that up like that. And then just do this. Boom, boom, boom. Very easy. I don't know why I put that in there. There we go. I like to always keep one bucket on me. I don't know why. I'm so used to playing sky blocks and stuff. I don't think I really need a bucket of water on me on this world. All right, there's some essence there. So we're going to try and gather up that in a second. But let's make these two ruins right now. Runes. There's one water one, and there is the spirit one. So now we need the earth one. So hopefully we can get some green earth essence. Oh, I don't know. Did I get any? Nope. I got. Oh, I should put that on my hotbar like that, right? 
Come on. There's some green. Yes! Okay, this actually is a quite a big vein again. Rather lucky. Nice. Okay, we got 10 pieces, which is perfect. So that will be a, that magical quest. Oh no, I need another piece of clay. There it is. That'll be that magical quest done. Perfect. Now we can use the earth rune to actually craft up the botany pot, which is, again, intertwined with the stone block main quest book. Now, I actually forgot that I needed that. Um, but yeah, runes, not runes. <laughs> Who wrote that title? I wonder. I wrote that. Um, yeah, I got a bad habit with that. I don't know why I say runes. Ruins, not runes. I, I don't know why. Oh god, I'm making it. I'm taking the mick out of myself. It's hilarious. Anyway, look at this reward though. It's so so useful. We get 16 pieces of clay, and we also get which water bucket. What is that? We will find out. One great use of runes is with porcelain totems. When mixed. It will create a new totem that will replicate that mob type. I see. Then, if you place them into a witch cauldron full of witch water, it will bring it to life. Craft a blaze totem, craft a chicken totem, and create a slime using a slime totem. What on earth was that all about, eh? I have no idea, but look! Witch water bucket. What's this? And we got all these runes, right? Okay. Where's my 16? Oh, it's 16 clay like that. Oh. So it's essentially four blocks. Damn. I thought it was more than that. So we need to craft up something called a witch's cauldron. But I think I have to be in the crafting table for that. There we go. Oh, wow. This is very, very expensive. So now we need to do the grind. Yes. Uh, we, we got some serious grinding to do now. So we need... A lot of iron to get a cauldron. We also need this little dude here, which is a porcelain a totem. So again, if I look at this, there it is. Okay, so it's not too bad. We have got the clay for that, and we've actually just crafted up a ruin, which is there. Yeah, so that's cool. Okay, so let's do that. We can make the little totem. There we go. And these are all the totems we can create. So as the um, magical quest tomb just said... Any of these guys that you put in the witch's cauldron will bring it to life. So if I want a shulker, all I need is one of these porcelain totems mixed with a light rune and an air rune, and it will make the shulker totem. Then you need the witch's cauldron full of witch water, and then basically it will bring it to life and use up the water. Now, I'm going to say this right now, witch water is very deadly so you can actually place these down unfortunately they don't flow but that's we can't really do a lot about that unfortunately but if i walk into this yeah it hurts so if you have played mod packs in the past maybe or in java or if you've never played them before basically witch water is very deadly and it is created using a witch's cauldron on top of a mycelium block wherever i put that there it is so you need to, if you want to create any of this, you need to put this block on the floor, put your witch's cauldron on top of it, and it will convert the water inside it into um, witch water, basically. But this stuff is very useful because obviously you can use it for the totems, but you might be able to use it for some other stuff. <laughs> Hashtag no spoilers. So yeah, I'm going to keep that in there for now. Um, there is some other liquids as well that you can find and use as like molten liquids now and stuff which is really nice but yeah i'm gonna um probably make well do i put all this like essence in here maybe i think i might why don't i kind of keep it like that right so yeah we got a lot of grinding to do right now to get iron so i think do i use the earth rune to try and get myself a botany pot maybe i'm not really too sure um Okay, I can hear my I can hear my dudes. Oh, we got some slimage here. Oops. So not very practical there what I've done, is it? <laughs> I think I'm going to use up all of this dust and I'm probably going to make into a couple more pieces there. And yeah, I'm going to do a lot of grinding, guys. We've got a lot of cobblestone anyway. Um 
So yeah, what I'm going to do is probably get a millions and millions of gravel, sieve up and get a load of iron and try and get this witch's cauldron. So I'll probably catch you in a bit. This is the first grindy stage, I would say. <laughs> God, I knew it was coming some way or another. And I don't know why I'm eating raw beetroot. It's not very nice. Okay, so I sieved up all of that gravel and I've got myself three diamond scraps as well. But I've got 42 pieces of iron scraps. Which is a lot. Oh, we still got a glass in there. Which is a lot, but I'm not sure it's going to cut it, unfortunately. So we're going to have to get some more um, gravel, I think, to try and get myself some iron. Because a cauldron is seven. And then if I look at the witch's one, I need six more, right? Uh, so basically, I'm going to need three more pieces of iron. So it's actually not too bad. So maybe I should start mining out this area because I do want to extend this. So I want to kind of encourage some animals to spawn because as you can probably tell, I'm currently surviving on raw beetroot, <laughs> which isn't very good. Um, yeah, I kind of need to uh, start thinking about the food situation as well. But ideally, I want to try and encourage some chickens, right? Oh, wow. We just hit the jackpot. We got some lapis and we got some more essence. Lovely. That's really good. So, yes, lapis can spawn as well, guys. Well, you can find it, I guess. So, in the end, I've actually got myself 17 pieces of compressed cobblestone and a bit of extra look. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to compress down the actual gravel now and we can use this to sieve up. Whoops. And hopefully we'll have enough iron scrap now. So we've got 11 pieces. So I wanted to not smash it all just in case I need more cobblestone for the future or anything. And I need to keep an eye on cobblestone as well. Because if you could tell already, look at my pickaxe and look at my shovel in that. It's getting quite weak. Oh, we got a diamond scrap. So that means I can actually make a piece of raw diamond. Wait, what? Yes, you heard me. Raw diamond. <laughs> As it's like got raw iron and that, we decided to make raw diamonds. So yeah, you guessed it. You cook the raw diamond in there and it gives you a diamond. That's how it works. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, right, so we've got quite a bit of copper as well. Copper, do not bin copper, by the way. It's very, very valuable for relay power. It uses a lot of copper. Right, six. So I only actually needed three pieces, but I'm going to cook it all up anyway. Um, there we go. Perfect. So let's make a cauldron out of this. So we're actually going to be able to do this. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Right, so there, we do need three. And we'll get our little guy that we crafted up earlier on. And I could put all this, whoops, put all this essence away. There we go. Uh, we could put the lapis in there. Uh, we got so much flint, I don't know what to do with it right now. I can't remember if there's a use for it or not. Probably there is. I'm just forgetting things because, like I say, it's been so long since I played it. There we go. Witch's Cauldron. Done. So, the quest actually wanted us to craft a blaze a totem and a chicken one. But then we need to also create a slime using a slime totem. So, we need a slime totem as well. So, yeah, this is quite totem heavy. So, we need a blaze one. So, we need a light rune and a fire rune. Okay, we got enough of that. We don't have enough light essence, unfortunately. Um, let's grab my clay blocks. And let's get this so it actually does what I want. There we go. It's one of them. What about this slime then? What does he need? Let's have a look. So water and earth. Okay, I think we've actually got that, right? Water and earth. So we need to get a couple more of these spirit essences as well spirit ones on the go to obviously make the totems so if i get like two of them there we go whoops there we go and i could turn them into a ball form i think it's something like this oh god i'm just remembering this at the top of my head it is there we go nice so a slime one was that with that right oh no that's a guardian no it's the other way around nope that's the frog <laughs> you got to remember to click it, right? Because otherwise it won't work. There we go. Perfect. There we go. So we've got the slime. That's good. Right. Now we also need a... Oh, God. I've forgotten it. A chicken. That's right. 
So chicken. So we need earth and air. Okay. Air, we got enough. Nice. Uh, but I think we're out of clay. As I mentioned, we're going to need a lot of clay. So let's smash up this, get some more clay, and I'll be back. So I've crafted up everything I need, apart from the actual chicken and blaze totem. Now, I've got the two porcelain totems I need, but I need a couple more pieces of essence, basically. So I need two light, and I need six more earth. I've got the fire, and I've got the um, air. So... I think it's earth and air equals um, the chicken and fire and light equals the blaze. And then that should ping off the quest as long as I put the slime in the witch's cauldron. So what I'm going to do now is just quickly set this up so it's ready to rock. Um, where do we want a slime where it can't really get us? Maybe like if I dig out a little bit here maybe. But I'm kind of on a hunt anyway to find some essence ore. So... I kind of want to dig around a little bit, um, but I'll probably just put the mycelium there, put the cauldron on top of that, and put that in there. And now, if it is functioning, it should produce these particles, okay? So that means it's currently converting into witch water, okay? After about a minute or so, it will just turn into the purple water, which is called witch water. And then if I interact with it, with the totems, they will be brought to life, basically. That's kind of how it works. Um, I do did kind of explain all that briefly there. That is the actual book, though, if you wanted to have a quick look at it. Um, I, I don't really need to look at it, though. It's fine. I understand how it works. Anyway, should we go on a bit of a hunt? I'm going to kind of dig up, I think, and kind of keep this going in like a bit of a tower. Are you kidding me? The first block I broke, pretty much, there was one there. I would swear I do not know where they are, guys. They're just literally randomly anywhere. Um, okay, we need to get some more torches. Let's try and get some light and earth essence, right? There we go. Oh, no, my pickaxe is going to die. We need a new one. Oh, I've got quite a lot, actually. Jeez. I was just about to say... Uh, I've got my light essence, but yeah, I need quite a bit of the earth one, right? How much has I got? Five. <gasps> Guys, we're going to actually be able to do this. I was totally not expecting this. So after all of that essence ore I found, I think I can actually craft up the blaze and the chicken. So I think it was an earth rune, right? And then light one. And there's the chicken. Nice. And there's the blaze. Nice. So now... Regarding the quest wise, all I need to do is bring the slime to life. So here we go. And that's converted. Look. Ah! We got a slime! <laughs> Mini mobs is done. Oh god, that thing almost killed me. Okay, the baby ones are fine. There we go. Wow, I can't believe I got a massive one. <laughs> so yeah, if you ever wanted in any slimes, um, that's how you can do it. But obviously, it works with anything. So if I use a chicken totem in the witch water, guess what it will produce? A chicken. <laughs> so yeah, I might actually do that though, because that's a great way of getting some food, maybe. Um, but anyway, I will put these away for now. Um, right, so what else have we got to do? Hopefully we get something good for that. Two totems. And oh, we get the slime totem back. Okay, not too bad. Another use of runes is to craft, what? Elemental seeds. These seeds are only used to craft other magical seeds within other within stone block two. Think of them as a base, I see. So we need to craft up four elemental seeds and then we get what? A soul panel and a chance cube. What's a soul panel? Aha, that's the beginnings of relay power guys. So, a elemental seed. That's a skeleton horse totem. There we go. Oh, wow. This is very, very pricey. Okay, we only get two. So, we need to actually craft up this twice. Okay, so we've got a bit of grinding to do. We need to get very, very lucky and find a lot of earth runes. But maybe I should be throwing the quest tomb book thing away for a minute and get out the original one. What have we got to do on this one? Ah, oh, yes. The botany pot that's right so we need another one of these um earth runes okay 
to do that. So at least we got some totems now. If we want to craft up any other guys, we can. I think what I'm going to do is get myself a chicken. Let's do it. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a baby. We got a baby little chicken. That's not good. You stay there and you grow up and become a lovely chicken for me and produce lots and lots and lots of eggs. Thanks. Um, I don't think I really want to brave attacking a blaze right now. But yes, if I need a blaze rods or anything like that, I've obviously got the materials to do it, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, I need to um, kind of get myself some more earth essence. Now, I actually know of a way of getting some essence ore quite easily. And we need something called a wand. Now, I'm kind of jumping the gun here. But if I go into the stone block, um, stone block 2 library, I can show you this, what I'm actually talking about. So there's a book in here called Basic Wands. There we go, Basic Wand. And this is the Basic Wand. Now, basically, we craft it like this. It's super, super cheap. But it says here, simply hit dripstone block to magically transform it. Okay. So it actually transforms it into essence ore, but you can also use it to create a cow or chicken wand as well. Now you kind of get this all told to you through the guidebook and quest book and stuff anyway, but I want to kind of um, get some essence ore a lot quicker really. Lime. So shut up, Mr. Librarian. We don't want to listen to your nonsense. So yeah, obviously we get all the dripstone from um, sieving up the gravel. And I think you could probably get it from other things if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. It's only six blocks, but it might be enough to get myself um, something decent uh, out of it. So, yeah, I need to get myself another one of these. So, you always get spirit essence every time you break um, one of the essence ore. We did that on purpose because obviously we're using it quite a lot in crafting. Um, I just need myself, guess what, another piece of clay. I told you, clay is so valuable. If you can find a way of getting automated clay, do it. Because it's it's used a lot in this. And we're on day seven now. Wow. Okay. Time's ticking, right? Cool. So I should be able to craft up the uh, rune now, like so. And now we should be able to see the wand. There we go. One wand. Boom. So now, if I get these dripstone blocks, like so... And I just kind of give it a whack. It magically turns into essence or <laughs> which is awesome. And now I can break this stuff and obviously get myself some essence. Now I'm kind of after the green stuff, please. Didn't even get a single green. <laughs> That's a shame. Oh well, at least we got the wand ready to rock. Um, okay, guys. Well, I think I'm probably going to end the episode there because I'm kind of at a bit of a stale point where I need to do a lot of grinding, um, which involves a lot of clay for botany pots. I need to actually get my health back up as well. I've got some apples here. Can I bake these? You can. I couldn't remember if we added that feature or not, but we can, apparently. I could probably cook them on the campfire then. But yeah, we get baked apples. Okay. Cool. I think they do... Yeah, they're way better than a regular apple. That's good. Um, okay, so yeah, I need to I need to uh, get a load of clay. And I need to find a lot more essence, right? Or drip stain. I could just grind out getting some drip stain probably. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a very long one to do. The Magical Quest Tomb. This is... Uh, that's going to take forever, that, I think. But it's going to be worth it because then we're going to have magical crops, which we'll find out all about in the future, as I keep saying. Um, you could grow the the magical crops in a um, cloche, basically. And, yeah, you need relay power to power it all. But, yeah, we'll get down that route at some point. But, anyway, I will catch you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Stoneblock 2, and that was Episode 3, and I'm Darius Props. Take care and I'll see you next time.